Hello, I'm Dwight Skull from Skull RPG, and today I'm going to give you three role-playing ideas for incorporating mind flares into your next game. See the description for each of these adventures in writing. Idea number one. Strange writing found near a new cave. No one has ever gone into this cave and returned. Strange bumps can be spotted on the outside of the left-hand side of the cave. Using Detect Magic and Comprehend Languages spell will reveal what it says. Beware. Do not enter or you will be enslaved. Nur Kozag. Now, rolling a Knowledge Arcana 25 or a Knowledge History 20 will tell the players who Narkazog is. He is a Mind Flayer who has helped non-Mind Flayers out in the past just to see what would happen. This cave system leads to a single tunnel that leads to a well-known Mind Flayer slave market in the Underdark. The tunnels weren't built by Narkazog, but as he came to the surface through them, he decided to warn people. This, of course, had the exact opposite effect as it lured in more people because of the strange symbols on the cave wall. If the players can decipher the meaning of the symbols, they could close the entrance and display a proper warning. If your players are high enough level, then they could actually have been hired to lead an expedition into the Underdark to find someone of importance that has gone missing. If you're going to go this route, use the map that's on the screen right now to see the Illithid Slaver Camp. The person you're searching for is in one of the holding cells. Scale the amount of mind flares and slaves to make it a challenge for your players. Note there isn't an Elder Brain nearby. So no need to worry about other Mind Flayers or Ceramorphs coming in to take revenge on the players. Well, unless any of the Mind Flayers flee, which is exactly what they're going to do if the battle is turning against them. To find out more about Qualith, which is the language that Nurkazog used, see page 221 in the 5th edition D&D Monster Manual. And now to idea number two. Overnight, a new wizard's tower appeared near the port town of Largillium. The wizard Thalansar came into town and had a strange meeting with the head of the Sailor's Guild, Bren Thorintor. Bran now does literally everything Thalansar asks of him. By the time the players are involved, Thalansar has moved his tower from outside the city into the middle of the city and is using Rovin street gangs to remove his political rivals. In reality, Thalansar is an archaic mind flare, a mind flare that has actually learned how to cast spells and is an outcast among his own kind. The tower is a daily casting of hallucinatory terrain. He uses Dominate Monster to force dissenters to his tower where they're either eaten or taken over by intellect devourers that he's raising. Thalansar is casting Disguise Self to move about in public. They openly attack Thalansar. Many of the town folk that have been taken over by the intellect devourers will come to his aid. He'll use Invisibility or Plane Ship to flee to do this again later in another part of the world. If you've really enjoyed this video so far, please give me a like and help me out. And now to idea number three. The town of Da'ara has been found deserted. The local noble is paying handsomely for anyone to just to bring back information about his lands. When the players arrive, they find some signs of a struggle, but no living person. If they search long enough, they'll find a mute little girl who's been hiding away. If the players try to connect with her telepathically, they're only going to see blurred images of octopuses and blood. If they follow the tracks, they'll see that many of them lead into a cave complex. This cave goes to the Underdark eventually, and the town was taken by a new hive mind colony of eight mind flayers and 50 slaves headed up by an elder brain. Many of the townspeople, well over a hundred, are still alive and in prison, but some have been eaten or taken further into the Underdark to be sold. The players can choose their next action, but note that the noble stated he would pay handsomely for information about what happened. Yet your players are unsure if he will pay more for the return of his people and the removal of a hive mind. Thanks for listening. That's been three story ideas that you can use to incorporate mind flares into your game. Please like and subscribe for more of my content. You guys have a great day.